Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here of the Raptors Digest, here to react to the Raptors, 115-109 to loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Very tough, tough game tonight, uh, game on the road, our final Western Conference road game of the season, back to back, just had a really tough game against the Spurs last night, we apologize for not throwing up a game reaction for that one, but yeah, just the Minnesota's a really good team this season. They uh, they didn't have Jimmy Butler tonight, but still a, a team with Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns can't be taken lightly. And that was definitely the case tonight where Andrew Wiggins went off for 29 points, really played well at the beginning of the game, and Carl Anthony Towns picked it up as at the, at the end stretch. But this is kind of expected coming off of road game back to, on a back-to-back -back. we've had such a tough schedule as of late and you know we had that road whistle it was a tough watch because we really could have had won this game but this the story for the Raptors loss was the defensive rebounding the defensive rebounding for Toronto was awful tonight it Taj Gibson Carl Anthony Towns they were bullying us in the paint uh, Jonas was in foul trouble most of the game, so he, uh, obviously our best defensive rebound, didn't get much run. So And the big the big men on the Minnesota Timberwolves just crushed us tonight. So, you know, it kind of hurts hurt to watch. The Raptors were in it the whole, whole game. It was a close one, but we just couldn't pull it out at the end. And But the one guy that kept us in the game and played phenomenal tonight was Kyle Lowry. We actually just made a video wondering if uh, Kyle was going to be an all-star, and we both ended up saying he will be, but he really proved his case of that tonight, scoring 40 points with 5 assists and 5 rebounds. Now, this is the Kyle Lowry. The Kyle Lowry that was on display tonight was the Kyle Lowry that we always love to see. Just in attack mode the whole time, never given an inch. Every time of the Minnesota, we needed a bucket, he'd give it to us, but... His his efforts weren't just weren't enough tonight. Demar had twenty points, a solid night for Demar. But otherwise, Delon had twelve points, five assists, five rebounds. But the rest of the team really didn't give much, and that was the story in this one. Tom, a Tom Thibodeau coach team, the coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves, they're never known to have good benches. Tim Tom Thibodeau never plays his bench, and I believe they outscored the Toronto Raptors bench tonight, which is. Very, very disheartening to watch because our we've seen our bench be so good this season, and then to get outscored by, I what was what was the guy's name? Marcus George's Hunt. See that guy letting up our our second unit guys, just hurt. It was it was a very painful sight to be seen. The Raptors couldn't find that sport spark. C J Miles couldn't get it going from three. Seemed like anyone besides Lowry couldn't really get it going from the outside. Demar hit a few long, long shots, but they ended up being long twos, with the foot on the line. And Casey was just really searching for players. But interestingly enough, Norman Powell got zero minutes tonight. Fred Van Vliet returned back to the lineup after missing a couple games with the knee injury. He didn't look like his regular self, so to speak, that bulldog mentality. But he he got it going a bit in the fourth quarter, but it just wasn't enough. But really interesting to see Casey not go with Norman Powell when we kind of needed a spark. We needed something. And it just wasn't coming from anyone else on the roster besides Lowry, of course. So it's going to be strange because we made a video a couple weeks back on what the Raptors should do with Norman Powell. And then Lowry got hurt and Fred got hurt. So Norm was there to pick up those injury minutes. So, we'll see how it goes if the roster stays healthy. Will Norm keep picking up those zero-minute games where it, you don't play because of coach's decision? Or will he find his way to creep back in the rotation? It'll be really interesting. That'll be a cool thing to look out for the next few games. And one last thing on the breakdown of the game. The, when the Raptors are tired, when the defense really clamps out, they kind of move away from that free-flowing offense that we've been seeing for most of the year. They almost go back into their ISO stretches. Not 
not necessarily when they're pressured, but when they look fatigued, it's almost just a habit. And those are the things you got to break when you're tired and, you know, you see people grabbing their shorts and gasping for air. We can't revert back and settle for long jump shots because that's not how we're going to beat quality teams. And Minnesota is a quality team. These are all things the team can learn from, hopefully get better at as the season goes on. I guess we'll go straight into the segments now. The play of the day for the Toronto Raptors has to be, well, maybe not a play of the day, but just plays of the day from Kyle Lowry. He gets the the game of the day, the play of the day. Every shot he hit, he was the only person keeping us in this game. So shout out to Kyle Lowry. Really nice to see him, the shot going down the past couple nights. Hopefully that continues the rest of the season. So Lowry, Lowry was the main high for this game. If you take a positive away, Kyle Lowry was that positive. But unfortunately, not all plays can be the play of the day. And some just make you say, oh, geez. And the oh, geez play of the night was, without a doubt, there's two. The Andrew Wiggins, two of his slams over Jakob Portal. I love Andrew Wiggins. Personally, my favorite non-Raptor player. But... He, uh, it made me sad to see Big Yak get, get the the bad the bad end of the draw to Andrew Wiggins slams. He had a couple one, going through the middle of the lane, just rose up, hammered it down, and then one on the baseline, both over Yakko Poto. So, Yaks, those two dunks just made me say, "Oh geez," as a Raptors fan. And the Demari Carroll Gold Star Award, I mentioned it throughout the podcast, it has to go to the Raptors rebounding. The rebounding was atrocious tonight. Gotta get better. I believe it will be. It would have been I believe it would have been better if Jonas didn't have to get in foul trouble. But that's all you can do. This game was a but that's all you can do game. That's that's how I'm gonna sum it up. Short pod here. That's that's my breakdown on the Minnesota Timberwolves game. If I missed anything, which I'm sure I did, let me know in the comment section. We'll be back continuing to give you guys Raptors updates, Raptors content. Stay tuned to the Raptors Digest. Thanks for listening.